And now, Sports Line with Jeff Landers. The Idaho State football team might not know right now who's starting at quarterback this week as the Bengals travel to Sacramento State. Or at least head coach Mike Kramer isn't saying. Starting quarterback Michael Sanders left last week's game against Eastern Washington in the third quarter, but Kramer has been coy about his injury. It's been reported that Sanders is done for the year. He did note today on his weekly conference call that he thinks, quote unquote, freshman Tanner Guller will start under center for the two and five Bengals. However, Kramer said after the Eastern Washington loss that Guller needs to speed everything up. Whatever the fifth year coach has decided, at this point, he's not sharing. I won't know and won't have any announcement in terms of who plays what personnel wise until Saturday until we go out for kickoff. A lot of guys who had looked like huge debilitating injuries, maybe the injuries have not been as, as rugged as we thought on Saturday. And there will be some guys will, who will obviously return to the field this year that maybe on Saturday it looked like there were uh, season ending injuries. Kramer said former Blackfoot High School star Trey Pilster could also be in the mix for the starting quarterback spot this weekend. As far as Sacramento State goes, the Bengals will have to keep an eye on land linebacker Darnell Sankey, who was ejected during the first series last season when the two teams played in Holt Arena. He's one of the best players in the conference. Uh, he's got a thumb injury going on right now, or a hand injury right now, that, that is making him not as effective. But he's a big, ferocious, run around 250 pound linebacker who's had a nice career at Sacramento State. So they challenge you at corner, and Sankey's a, a, a force on the field. He leads them, I think, in tackles for loss, and quarterback sacks, and hurries, and he's a linebacker, which means we've got to know where he's at on all blitzes.